Hello my Sock Universe and welcome to another Jersey review video. Well the Sampdoria shirt should give it already away unless you've already had the, read the headline and we're talking about an Italian jersey uh, today and I think yeah this is the second to last Serie A jersey for now that I have. Nah, there are a few more. No, don't worry at least team wise. Um, that Sampdoria jersey is one of my favorites in my collection. It's one of the first jerseys that I got when I found this uh, Wilhaben page, you know, a little bit like Depop in uh, Great Britain or Spock. Uh, absolute beauty. Absolute beauty. Yes, it has, a, has a few flaws, but it is an absolute beauty. But before we go to the jersey, I have been thinking, I actually didn't necessarily want to do a jersey review video, but you told me I am kind of busy these days uh, but I really want to do something once as long as I have this background I think the next background will be uh, numbers of national team players which I have to say are not as illustrious as these here I mean there will be some Zidane there will be Pirlo, Gattuso uh, and then there are a whole bunch of <laughs> names back there where I honestly I just got it because I wanted to have the jersey not necessarily because I wanted to have the number back on there but hey that's how it goes sometimes. I also made some jersey fouls on there because there are a few jerseys that have my own name on there, which I will not put uh, back there. But yeah, I'm gonna wanna do something uh, related to that background because I see if I use this now to record a uh, Champions League background, doesn't could fit. Uh, for European season, yes, but it's more like since all these most of these players that I have here already retired, it's more like a historic thing that I should do. So, uh, that's what's kind of in the back of my mind. Let's see how it will go. I know I have one more for what to watch Champions League classics, and then I think the next classics will be Euro classics or maybe World Cup classics. Although I'm thinking more Euro classics, we keep the World Cup stuff going when we go to the World Cup. You also know that I really would like, but I think it's a whole lot, a lot of work, I really would like to give you um, history, like season by season history, at least of the Champions League, if not for the whole European Cup. Uh, for most of the stuff I probably could talk like that. <laughs> uh, that's how much I'm into it. So yeah, those are the things that are at the back of my mind. Let's get to the jersey. Um, Sampdoria has won one Serie A title. This team also has won, kind of amazingly, one Serie A title. We're talking about Cagliari. This is the 1718 Cagliari jersey. I have to say, um, when I saw this one of classic football shirts um, at the end of last year, like was I think it was on the Black Friday, Friday sale, I said I gotta have that. I was thinking about the away jersey, but then yeah, it has to be this one. This was kind of the Macron kit that I was looking forward to. Yeah, no, I ordered three Macron kits. We saw the Lazio already. We saw um, the Crystal Palace. So yeah, this was the other one. This is not a player version. This is actually a replica. I love it because I didn't get the sponsor. If you know Cagliari jerseys and in my Serie A re review, there are a lot of sponsors on there, but very often you just get them clean. And I love the clean look of it. Um, they have an updated crest, which is kind of this uh, rubber material, but looks quite nice. Uh, note that originally those were Morse and the headband was covering their eyes, which kind of is a little bit racist. So they are now just put it on the uh, forehead, so it looks a little bit better. You have the half and half design already in the crest, which you could excuse it if they put it here centered, although I think with the deep uh, cut collar this doesn't look as. It's very much fully half and half except for one spot on the entire jersey, but I think everything else is perfectly half and half look, similar to the Crystal Palace jersey. It has different sleeves though, uh, these are now not that the one is a little bit shorter, but we still get that the upper is a little bit different than the lower part. It also has on the inside of the collar, there is the Scudetto and it reminds us here that uh, Campioni, Cali, Campioni d'Italia in 69-70, I don't want to try now my Italian on that one, 
Also note how on the inside of the collar, instead of those two meeting, they have kind of this little tape, which you also find on the back. And here you also see the only part where not where the half half design is not maintained. It says Cagliari 1920, the founding year. Uh, it is actually a little bit absurd to think that 1970 they were champions. This was the year where Italy actually made it to the World Cup final and the big star was Gigi Riva. Uh, one of the best strikers that Italy has ever seen and uh, to me it's amazing that he played for Cagliari. I also have to say I have a little bit uh, connection to Cagliari through work because we have a uh, few colleagues that came from Sardinia, Sardinia, Sardinia they're huge Cagliari fans and they say, uh, you know, Italy, that's the con kind of, we're not Italy, we are completely different. I mean, uh, they even go, of course, about that they're not supporting Italy during a Euro Tour tournament, which was kind of, kind of weird to me because I'm coming down and out there with my Italy stuff. Uh, but yeah, they are supporting others. They're not supporting necessarily Italy and so on and so forth. So what are the nice features? As I said, I love the color, especially this little part here I think is pretty cool I love the patterning this is like the um, what Barcelona had in their 92 jersey you know you, you have this kind of striped structure in there uh, it is heavily ventilated on the back which is what you want to have of a sports jersey so that's a nice touch there's also some ventilating material under the arms which is exactly what you would like to have because this is where you sweat the most believe it or not so yeah it's a very well made jersey uh, the those are um, you know just some plastic transfer which I don't like that that much but this here is stitched really nice jersey I should wear very very more often I actually am very happy that I don't have a with us uh, sponsor uh, on the bottom we have here the authenticity tag and you see it's similar to the sleeves uh, we have this on the bottom here so that makes it also light and it's an M performance system in case you were wondering here you can also see the nice Pattering of the front. Yeah, nice jersey. I actually like to wear it. I haven't worn it a lot in videos, but I wear it uh, frequently, um, at least when I'm at home and 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 so. Especially my wife likes it a lot. So why not wear it? I with all this calorie craze at work, I have not worn it yet to work because I'm not sure how. I actually feel about it. They know I'm a Milan fan. If I show up with the Calcari jersey, I don't know, they might pull a hex on me. You never know with stuff on the on the peninsula and beyond. But yeah, I absolutely love the jersey. It was a necessary collect, uh, addition to my collection. Anyway, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!